Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. Just recently I bought a car. It's going to take about eight weeks for that car to be delivered. And I chose a car based on our needs, and I chose a color that I thought was very pretty and also unique. It's a deep red, it's a burnt red, a metallic red. It's called flamenco red by the uh, vendor. And I thought, one, it's a very attractive color, it's something I liked, and two, it's unique. I hardly ever see cars in that color. Well, I ordered the car several weeks ago, haven't taken delivery of it yet, and so what am I noticing in the meantime? I'm noticing an awful lot of cars that are exactly the same color as the new car that I bought, that I ordered. So, what's happening here? For many years, I didn't pay attention to the color of cars. Then, as I ordered a car, I had to choose a color, I chose a color I thought was interesting and unique, and it turns out not to be unique. What was I doing? I wasn't seeing the entire range of options. I wasn't seeing reality in all its many variations and manifestations. I was seeing only what I was thinking about. And there's a lesson here. There's a famous experiment that's been reported in a number of different places about a video of two basketball teams. One has light colored jerseys on, one has dark colored jerseys on, and the basketball is being passed back and forth. And people are asked to observe the video and count the number of times that the ball passes from one color jersey to another color jersey, from light to dark or dark to light. If a light color jersey passes to a light color jersey, don't count that. Dark color to dark color, don't count that. Only when the color changes. So people have to pay attention, count the number of passes, and during this video, a gorilla walks through the basketball court. Most people who are watching the video and counting the number of passes between unlike colored jerseys never see the gorilla. The gorilla is on the video, is in the screen for nine seconds. Most people never see it. Why is that? Because we see what we think about. We see what we know. We see what we expect to see. So if you think politicians are thieves, then every time you see an article about politicians thieving, stealing, you're going to remember it. You're going to register it, it's going to be in your memory, and it's going to reinforce patterns that are already existing in your brain, in your memory. So, what does this do? It limits your creativity. It limits your ability to innovate. What it says is, basically, I only see what I think I'm going to see, and therefore, I only see things that I'm experienced with. It limits your ability to experience, again, reality and all of its variations and manifestations. So if you want to be more creative, if you want to lead innovative teams, one of the first things to think about is thinking and seeing. If you only see what you think, then you'll only think what you see, and it's a self-reinforcing cycle, and it's not a very good cycle. It simply builds and reinforces things that you already know. It doesn't expose you to new experiences. It doesn't expose you to new ideas. So if you want to be more creative, more innovative, think about what you see, and think about what you don't see. And that's not a natural or easy thing to do, but you can do it. If you think about, well, I haven't seen cars of a different color. I haven't seen people. I haven't seen things that, uh, that don't occur to me that I'm not thinking about. If you practice that art, you'll start to open up your vision. You'll start to open up your ability to see things that you hadn't seen before. That will make your life richer. That will make your thinking richer. That will make you more creative and innovative. It's not an easy skill, but it's something that you can practice and you can learn. That's the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. See you again next week.